Could the last president of the United States be a woman? Picture that for a moment. A prophecy, whispered in hushed tones, suggests this very possibility. A female leader, standing strong at the helm of one of the world's superpowers. This concept is not as far-fetched as you might think, and it's not without precedent. But we're not here to spill all the beans just yet, we're just getting started. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this intriguing prophecy. Unveiling the prophecy, the last president of the US will be a woman. Dive deep into the annals of history and you'll find the prophecy we're discussing today, a prediction that suggests the final president of the United States will be a woman. This prophecy doesn't hail from a mystical oracle or a cryptic ancient scroll. Rather, it has its roots in modern-day discussions and speculations, a product of the increasingly progressive societal norms and the ever-evolving political landscape. The prophecy is not tied to a specific time or place, but rather a sentiment, a belief that has been brewing in the collective consciousness. Its origins lie in the aspirations of those who believe in true equality and representation, those who envision a future where the leader of the free world is not determined by gender but by capability, character, and conviction. As we trace the lineage of this prophecy, we find that it has been nurtured and shaped by the events of history. From the suffragette movement of the early 20th century to the recent surge in female leadership across the globe, each milestone has added a layer of credibility and hope to this prophecy. The interpretations of this prophecy, however, are as varied as they are intriguing. Some take it as a symbol of ultimate gender equality, the final breaking of the highest glass ceiling. Others see it as a sign of the end times, a harbinger of a paradigm shift in global power dynamics. But what if this prophecy were to come true? What would it mean for America and the world at large? The implications are immense. It would signify a monumental shift in societal norms and expectations, a testament to the progress we've made as a society. It would challenge the status quo and redefine the image of leadership. It could potentially bring a fresh perspective to the political arena, fostering empathy, inclusivity, and diplomacy. But how plausible is this prophecy? Let's scrutinize. Analyzing the prophecy, how likely is it to come true? Let's break it down and look at the factors that could influence its realization. Firstly, the current political climate. We live in a time of great change and upheaval. Politics is no longer just a game for the old boys club. More and more women are stepping into the political arena and making a name for themselves. And it's not just about the numbers. These women are shaping policy, leading important conversations and challenging the status quo. Take a look at the recent surge in women elected to Congress. Women are making history and breaking glass ceilings in the political sphere. This trend suggests that we're moving toward a more balanced representation of genders in politics. Secondly, let's consider the progress of women's rights in the United States. Over the last century, significant strides have been made. Women have fought for and won the right to vote, the right to equal pay, and the right to hold high office. We've seen women rise to the highest echelons of power in the corporate world, in academia, and in the arts. And yet, there is still a long way to go. Despite these advances, women are still underrepresented in many areas, including politics. The prophecy of a female president suggests that this could be the next frontier for women's rights in the US. Thirdly, let's look at the historical precedent of female leaders in other countries. Across the globe, women have held and are holding the highest office. From Germany's Angela Merkel to New Zealand's Jacinda Ardern, these women have proved that leadership is not gender-specific. They've led their countries through crises, made tough decisions, and shown the world that women are capable of leading at the highest level. However, it's important to address the criticisms and skepticism towards the prophecy. Some argue that the U.S. is not ready for a female president. They point to the lack of female candidates in the presidential race, the sexist rhetoric that often emerges during campaigns, and the entrenched patriarchal attitudes that still persist. These are valid concerns, but change often comes when it's least expected, just as the civil rights movement and the women's suffrage movement transformed society in profound ways. The prophecy of a female president could signal another seismic shift. The prophecy doesn't just suggest that a woman will become president. It suggests a shift in societal attitudes, a breaking down of barriers, a new era of equality and representation. In conclusion, while there are hurdles to overcome, the prophecy of a female president becoming a reality is not as far-fetched as it may seem. The political climate is changing, women's rights are progressing, 
and the world is increasingly recognizing the power and potential of female leaders. With all these factors in mind, the prophecy seems more than just a far-fetched prediction. A female president, what would it mean for America and the world? Let's delve into this question. The first and most evident implication of a female president is its significant impact on gender equality. The highest office in the land, once held exclusively by men, would now be occupied by a woman. This would not only shatter the proverbial glass ceiling but also send a potent message to women and girls everywhere. There are no limits to their potential and no positions that are out of their reach. But what about policymaking? Historically, women have often been champions for issues such as education, health care, and social justice. With a woman in the Oval Office, we might see an increased focus on these areas. Furthermore, women are known for their collaborative leadership style, which could result in more bipartisan cooperation and productive dialogue in Washington. The international stage is another area where a female president might shape things differently. Women leaders around the world from New Zealand's Jacinda Ardern to Germany's Angela Merkel have shown their ability to lead with empathy, resilience, and pragmatism. A woman president could bring these traits to America's foreign policy, fostering stronger international relationships and a more cooperative global community. Yet it's not all roses. A female president could face considerable backlash and challenges. Women in leadership roles often face higher scrutiny and criticism than their male counterparts and the presidency would likely be no exception. Moreover, entrenched societal norms and biases could pose additional obstacles. But overcoming these challenges could further solidify the female president's role as a trailblazer and a symbol of progress. In conclusion, a female president would symbolize a major stride towards gender equality, potentially reshape domestic and foreign policy, and confront societal norms. The road ahead might be fraught with challenges, but the potential benefits are monumental. A female president could indeed bring monumental change. The prophecy? A reflection of hope or a mere fantasy? We've journeyed together through the innards of this prophecy, dissecting its origins, analyzing its credibility, and pondering over the implications of seeing a woman take the helm as the president of the United States. Let's take a step back and revisit the prophecy itself. It spoke of a time when the leadership baton of the United States would be passed on to a woman, a shift that would mark a significant milestone in the history of the nation. A prophecy by its very nature is nebulous, open to interpretation and fraught with uncertainties. Yet, the possibility it presents is undeniably intriguing, especially when we consider the societal and political landscape we are navigating today. We dive deep into an analysis of the prophecy, considering various factors that could influence the likelihood of its fulfillment. We explored the current state of gender equality, the strides women have made in the political arena, and the changing perceptions of leadership. We posed questions, we presented arguments, and we sparked a discussion that goes beyond the prophecy itself, touching on issues of representation and equality that are pertinent in our world today. Our exploration led us to contemplate the implications of a woman leading the United States. It's not just about the gender of the leader, but the ripple effect such a change could have on the nation and the world. It's about the potential for new perspectives, different leadership styles, and a shift in the narrative of power. It's about the message it sends to young girls and women everywhere, that the highest office in the land is not beyond their reach. As we conclude, we invite you to reflect on your own beliefs and expectations. How do you perceive this prophecy? Is it a beacon of hope, signaling a future where gender is no barrier to the highest echelons of power? Or do you view it as a mere fantasy, an idealistic prediction that is far removed from reality? Regardless of your stance, one thing is clear. The conversations surrounding gender, power, and leadership are evolving. The prophecy, whether it comes to pass or not, has sparked a discussion that is necessary and timely. It has pushed us to think, to question, and to imagine a future that is different from our present. Whether or not the prophecy comes true, the idea of a female president is no longer a distant dream, but a possibility we should prepare for. Thank you for joining us in this exploration, and don't forget to share your thoughts below.